So I'm recording this on Thursday. This video might go out on Friday, we'll see. But um, so today I put out the video about the, how long a severed head stays conscious after being decapitated. And uh, you know, there's some videos that split an audience. This will be one of them. Um, I'm just kind of looking through the comments here and there's a lot of people saying that I'm dark. Ooh, this was so dark. One person said, um, does anybody else think this guy is a psychopath? It always cracks me up when I'm reading a comment where they say this guy. And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm reading these. I, you can say directly to me. I read the comments. Um, but uh, I did get one guy who I'm just going to read. It. it says, geez, Joe, this was beyond dark. I'm not sure how this piece of knowledge, which can't even be proven, by the way, fits with your channel promoting science. Not that you care, seeing as I'm not one of your paying customers, but I'm actually disappointed you to post a video like this. For the first time ever, I've thumbed you down. Um, okay. So uh, there were some people, I, I got some responses like that. I just chose that one at random. I'm, I'm just scrolling and it just came up. But look, I get it. There, there's some topics that are not for everybody. And when I think about things like this, I kind of go into my comic or my my comedy mind which is if you make jokes for everybody you're not gonna win anybody over the best jokes are the ones that maybe only 20 percent of the audience gets maybe it's a reference that only 20 percent of the audience gets but they're the ones that are going to be like oh yeah like they're feeling like they're part of the tribe they get that that's cool you know um so sometimes you got to do things that just are not going to appeal to everybody you just have to do that I think those are the best ways to go. Some people do that by stepping out and saying something political, and I've definitely done that before and still hear about it on a daily basis. But uh, sometimes it's, it's covering topics that maybe people don't really, are, don't really want to talk about or aren't comfortable thinking about. And death is definitely one of those topics. And, you know, what's funny to me is I feel like the topics that we avoid talking about the most are the ones that we really should be talking about the most. I hate that politics has become so poisoned to the point that if I say anything remotely political in any video now, I seriously, I hear about it for months, days. It depends on how popular the video is, if it keeps getting views. Um, I, I just get so much negativity. Don't talk about politics. And it's like, dude, Politics are actually things that affect us. <laughs> you know, I can talk about quantum entanglement and all that kind of stuff, and that's fun. But politics are things that we actually live with on a daily basis. We may not agree on things, but it's okay to disagree. I don't, I don't insist that everybody agree with me. And I know that there's a certain point and on certain topics that I'm never going to win people over. Like, they're just so far gone on their end of that spectrum. They're just not going to come back. I get that. Um, but really... Politics are things that we should be talking about. And, and death is not, I mean, I, I understand why we don't want to think about death. Um, it is an inevitable thing that we are all going to have to face at some point, though. So, I mean, what, what is religion? What is church other than just kind of getting yourself ready for that and, and being aware? In fact, this is going to be controversial. I actually sometimes think that religious people are more in touch with their mortality than most people. Because that's kind of partly why a person would be religious is because they want to, um, you know, kind of be ready for that kind of thing. That's, that's a huge assumption. But um, my point being, death is not fun to talk about. I get that it's morbid. That's kind of the definition of morbid. But I do think that it's things that we should at least explore mentally from time to time. And... I think the more you can do it just in little bitty bits like talking about it in a video or discussing what happens when your head gets cut off, I think that is better than what happens if you repress it and you hold it down and you ignore it for a long time. You have what actually kind of happened to me a couple of years ago. You, you freak out a little bit and you, you go into this place where you think about it so hard and you get so sucked into it that you can't get out and, and that's, that's difficult. But, I, you know, I, I had said, I think in the video where I talked about my panic attacks, which is basically what that was, that as difficult as it was to go through, I'm kind of glad I did because it forced me to look at things differently. It forced me to uh, 
examine things that I don't normally want to examine and become more in touch with that stuff. And it, and it helped me to kind of deal with very difficult issues regarding mortality and stuff like that. We, we ignore stuff at our own peril. But that wasn't why I did this video. Um, if you were to ask why, and I've gotten several people that are like, why would you talk about this? Um, honestly, I have a big long list of, of topics for Random Thursday videos, and they all tie in in some small way, at least, to um, science topics, you know? Now this one, you could go through the neurology of the brain and how the brain works and how consciousness works in the brain and how what happens when you pass away. And I watched some videos on that, read, excuse me, read some articles on that. And um, it's, there's science there. And you could call it science, the whole process of trying to find a more humane way of, of uh, executing people was a scientific process of working through all these different horrible ways of killing people. And it's also just interesting, honestly, from a historical perspective to me, I'm actually very interested in, in history. I don't talk about it on this channel that much, but to see how attitudes have changed, that the idea that uh, chopping someone's head off was a humane way to go back in the day. They were actually very excited about the fact that, oh, good, I won't be burned at the stake or flayed and quartered and all that kind of stuff. I'll just get my head chopped off and that'll be it. Yay. <laughs> it's so bizarre to think about that. It's an interesting topic to me. And of course I went down this, uh, people seem to like usually when I go more, go deeper into consciousness and, and life and, and those kinds of topics. And so I, I kind of went that way. But it's, this, this is a very, very split um, subject here. Like I said, this really split the crowd. There are some people that are just like, oh my God, why, why would you do this? How dare you? And then there are other people that are saying that it's the best video I've ever done. They're the sickos, clearly. But um, anyway, I'm, I'm looking through here. Let me see if I can find another one that uh, might have been interesting. A couple people said that I was kind of doing Vsauce here because I, I did a, or is it, thing in the video. I wasn't trying to do Vsauce. I was just trying to be funny, but... Anyway, this made me uncomfortable and even a bit sick. Oh, here was a good one. You can't find a better way to use the abilities the universe has given you? <laughs> and then right here, this is the best one so far. Morbid. One person said, now my neck hurts. Uh, and this was a good one. In today's answers with Joe, Joe describes how to get ahead. That was fun. So, interesting reactions to this one. And um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how, how things continue on the on the comments of that. My dog is snoring over here. I don't know if you can hear it. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to respond to the the comments that I was getting. Let me refresh the comments. See if there's anything new that just came in. This is terrifying. There's also several people that are saying that there's no possible way that they can that you can have. Um, there's no possible way that you can remain conscious for 30 seconds because they're saying that if you if you get choked, then you pass out really quickly. Look, I'm just going off of the research that I ran across. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go experiment on this and chop something's head off and see how long it lives. But something I was thinking about after I posted it was that once <laughs> here we go, once your head is severed and there's not a heart pumping blood through your head. It would just be sort of the weight of gravity pulling the the blood out of it. So your the, the blood in your head might actually stick around a little bit longer than normal. I mean, obviously it would it would flow out, but there's nothing pumping it out. And and um, capillary action might actually keep it from flowing faster than if it was being pumped. So that that blood in your brain might stay there for a while. I don't know. It, it's, it's a morbid thought, but uh, somebody else posted a question like what would happen if you cut the neck with something really hot, like he used a lightsaber, for example, but something that was hot enough to cauterize all the veins so that the blood wouldn't come out. 
basically if you were to cut the head off and, and keep all the all the blood in the head how long would the head remain conscious I don't know that that that's that's one that's gonna be really hard to <laughs> hard to experiment with we're gonna get a lightsaber and chop a guy's head off yeah all right anyway I wanted to just respond to some of these comments real quick and give you a little background on why I did that video and um, if you saw it hope you enjoyed it hope it wasn't too dark but we'll uh, there'll be more in the future not on that topic but yeah that's been too much information catch you later